What's up guys, it's Sammy Cheese here, back with another video, now in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to make a Christmas slash holiday game in Scratch. I'll put a preview on screen of what you'll be making today. As you can see, it's a simple decorate the tree game. Anyway, let's get started with the coding. The first sprite we are going to make is a Christmas tree, so delete the Scratch Cat and make a new sprite. Grab the rectangle tool and make the fill a dark brown by going to yellow and changing the brightness down and just messing with these settings. And then you can start to form your Christmas tree. So for example, if I go from the bottom here and then I grab a big green circle, I can actually just go and reshape it with the reshape tool until it looks like a Christmas tree. I'll put a time lapse of me making a Christmas tree right now. When you're done, go to code, go to one green flag clicked, looks, go to changes to back layer, motion, go to X, zero, Y, zero, and that's it for the tree. Now let's get onto the sprites for decorating the tree. The next sprite we will be making is going to be the ornament for the Christmas tree. So just go to paint, circle tool, and choose your fill of whatever ornament you want. I want a nice bright red ornament. Change the outline to black and you can change the outline up a little bit. Hold shift to make a perfect circle. And as you can see, that is the beginning of our ornament. You can adjust the size according to the Christmas tree. For example, whatever you think is good. If you want to add some extra stuff on top like it's hanging on there, go to the line tool and all you gotta do is just make a little something like this. Like it's hanging on the Christmas tree or something. And you can fix it up with a reshape tool. Once you're done customizing it, just go to code, one green flag clicked, go to motion, X and Y, find a good spot for your ornament that you want to click and drag it onto the tree. So for example, I like this spot, looks, show, go to front layer, sensing, set, drag mode, not draggable, events, when the sprite clicked, create a clone of myself, when I start as a clone, sensing, set drag mode, draggable, looks, show, go to front layer. If you give it a test, as you can see, if we hit the green flag, we can click and drag the ornament onto the Christmas tree just like that. There's an infinite number of them spawning, so no matter how many you want, you'll always have them. Let's make some more decorations. Next thing you want to do is just duplicate the ornament sprite, go to costumes, and this will be our star. So right now, all you want to do is just draw a star. Once you're done with your star, go to code. Then all you have to do is find a good X and Y position for the star. And then all you have to do is disconnect though when the sprite clicked block and find a good position for the star. For example, I like right here. And then all you want to do is just type in the X and Y coordinates into the go to X and Y block. And just reconnect though when the sprite clicked, create clone of myself. As you can see, now we have a working functioning star. Then what you want to do one more time is just duplicate your star, go to costumes, delete the star, and this will be the tinsel on the tree. So if you make the fill white, hold shift and make a perfect circle. This will be the tinsel ball that you saw in the preview. Next thing you want to do is go to code. Disconnect that create clone of myself. You might want to change the backdrop to Go to bitmap and fill it with any color you want just so you can see the tinsel. For example, I'm just going to make it a dark red. Go back to code. Go back to the tinsel. And all you got to do is you just got to find a nice spot for it. For example, right here is good. And then all I got to do is just take those XY coordinates and plug them in. As you can see, we have most of our ornaments done. And finally, make sure to reconnect the create clone of myself. And for the Christmas light, just make a new sprite. Zoom in. Go to the square tool, draw a square, and try to make sort of a Christmas light now, without the wire. Something like this. Now once you're done with that, all, all you, now once you're done with that, all you have to do is just duplicate this a few times until you have eight costumes. Then all you want to do is just change the color each time. So for example, here's an orange light. I have an outer layer and an inner layer, so I'm just gonna color pick the orange, and I'm just gonna go through every single one changing the color. And once you're done creating all those different colors for your lights, all you gotta do is just delete the extra ones and go to code. Events, one green flag clicked, looks, switch costume to costume one. 
put that there. Events, one green flag clicked, forever. Grab an if then block. If, sensing, key, one pressed, put that in there. Go into control, grab a repeat until, and grab another if then block, and put it inside the repeat until. Go repeat until, sensing, key, changes to to press and put that in the repeat until then all you want to do is just grab a mouse down block and put it in the if then block and go to control create clone of myself in the if then block in the repeat until block looks next costume events wait 0 0.06 seconds and put that in there then for the repeat until key to press motion Go to changes to mouse pointer and put this above the if then block in the repeat until. So it should look like this. And finally, go to looks, switch costume to costume one and put this in the if key one press at the very bottom. So just like that. So if we have the green flag and we press one, as you can see, and if we click, there's a ton of lights coming. And if we just press two, it'll stop. And that's it for the tutorial. If you enjoyed, make sure to do subscribe, like, and comment, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out. I have a quick announcement. This is my official Discord server. So this Discord server is for help with Scratch projects and stuff like that. It is also for announcements and updates about my YouTube channel. If you want to join, I'll put the link on screen and link in the description. Anyway, guys, that's about it for the video. If you enjoyed, make sure to subscribe, like, and comment, and I'll see you in my next video. Peace out.